All right, everybody, I, I generally don't make these videos, <clears throat> but uh, I went through a whole lot of stuff on this and uh, uh, on this truck trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Uh, had a trouble with this truck intermittently uh, not starting sometimes, and then eventually it started getting aware that it wouldn't start at all, or uh, it would run for five, 10 minutes and quit, and uh, almost left me stranded. And I wound up placing this uh, I can get it in here. Jeez. Uh, this little guy right here which is the ignition module and uh, truck ran fine for about two weeks and started doing the same thing and uh, uh, about three starts later then it just wouldn't crank anymore uh, just turn over and it won't start so went out and I got a handy dandy uh, wiring diagram to try to figure out what in the heck's going on and uh, did a whole lot of research and a lot of stuff that came from here and what I found out was uh, is all these distributor coils here I really didn't think it was this I was thinking it was maybe this is the ECM because you have this uh this is the part that I, I couldn't find any information on on this harness which connects to your uh, your module your top wire there is what they call the pip wire and that's what pulses the uh, ignition system so anyway uh, that's supposed to have, according to one of the videos I saw in here, about 10 volts on it. And mine had 0.03 volts. And uh, so, uh, ran the gummit of test here, and for some reason I was thinking that the 10 volts, if you look on this, uh, uh, this schematic here, it does show, uh, this is the part that I missed, I was wondering where the 10 volts came from that was the static. So, if this thing connects to the ECM, it goes to the ignition module, and it goes to the distributor as you can see here so what I didn't understand is where that 10 volts was coming I can understand the module cranking over and creating uh, disruption in, in that with the, um, the stator in there but I couldn't understand where the other 10 volts was coming from well that 10 volts is actually just a switched and it comes from down here and uh, into uh, your distributor and wherever the hell that is uh, and down here down here actually so, and that actually has 12 volts on it, so that's fine. So, what I'm looking at is the things that are coming out of this. One of them goes up here to uh, ignition ground, which we know that's not it. And I uh, checked all these wires for continuity. And then we've got this one here, this pip wire that goes to your ignition module. And uh, this is basically the connection between this and this, which tells it, you know, how to set the computer to set the timing and whatnot. Well, at this pit wire, where I had the 0.03 volts, this is where it's feeding from, is from this. And that's my assumption here, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. So, that indicates to me, I went in here, and uh, one of these were connected, but uh, I back probed uh, this red wire here, and to make sure that I had 12 volts switched there, and I do, in fact. So the 12 volts coming into here, and then what's coming out of here, should be about 10 volts coming out of this, uh, 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 this the pip wire that's on here which on this harness is uh, this kind of weird looking color one here and that connects back up here like I said and that should have um, it should have the 10 volts on it but it doesn't so I'm pretty bad burn sure that this credit right here the module in there is my problem uh, I found out that there was a uh, uh, a lot of problems with um, uh, well, what am I trying to say here? Uh, these modules, uh, they, they do tend to go out. So, uh, they said that uh, pull in the distributor is the only thing that I'm really not looking forward to, but I'm pretty sure this is going to fix my problem. Uh, asked my mechanic friend, I read somewhere that sometimes the, the oil pump uh, drive that goes down in there can fall off and fall down inside the uh, oil pan. Yeah, I really hope that doesn't uh, uh, doesn't happen. Now, anyway, uh, there's a how-to video on here about how you can take this thing apart and how you can uh, rebuild it. And it's a major pain in the ass. And it's not something that I think is worth doing, especially because if you look on Rock Auto's page, you can buy a complete distributor with a module and everything already put together for about 55 bucks, probably on your door for $60. So, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, you guys have pulled the distributor before, and just make sure that you put it back exactly the way that it was. Get your time and light, reset your time, and everything should be fine. So I'm going to follow this up with uh, information to uh, let you guys know that this did or this did not work. But uh, the main purpose this was is if you do not have uh, 
10 volts on this wire. If you look at the Eric, the car guy, Scanner Danner video, he said there should be 10 volts on that wire. If you don't, you could pretty much, uh, you pretty much think that that, that guy's the culprit because uh, that's where that, that 10 volts source is from. So it makes it into the distributor and never back out the pet wire to complete the circuit. I hope that helps somebody.